Julebib was one of the companions who became Muslim uh, with the Ansar of Medina. His name actually conveys a lot about him. Um, his name means literally small grown or even deformed. That's the way that it was you know, he was named. Um, and why? Because he was actually quite small in stature, very frail, very thin. And some of the descriptions say that he was very unattractive as well. And because of that, he was ostracized. He was teased a lot. He was also an orphan. No, no features, no, no traits about him that anybody deemed worthy, except for, of course, the best of creation, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he accepted Islam, the Prophet Sallallahu of course, saw in him qualities that were beautiful because he didn't look to the outward. So he saw Julebiba as being very special and someone of immense worth to the point that he actually went to a very prominent family of Medina who had a daughter who she's not known, we don't know her name, but this woman, this young girl was very sought after. She, a lot of the Sahaba were, uh, she had many suitors. And so the family was a wealthy family and uh, she was quite stunningly beautiful. And the Prophet Sallallahu um, chose to be his uh, representative, his advocate to this family. And he went up to uh, the, the father of this family and he said, I, I'm asking for your daughter's hand in marriage. And so he, of course, was so overjoyed because the, he thought it was the Prophet I'm asking for himself. And who better than the best of creation to hand his daughter over to? So he was like, he was so happy. And then the Prophet I'm told him, I'm actually not asking on my behalf. And as soon as he asked him, then who? And he was told it was Julebib. He was shocked, but he didn't want to have bad adab with the Prophet I'm So he said, I need to ask her mother. And she began to scream hysterically. She was like, absolutely not. And her daughter, this beautiful girl who everybody is eyeing and vying for, she hears her mother screaming, comes and says, what's going on? And they tell her that the Prophet ﷺ has asked for your hand for uh, Julebib. She immediately turned to her parents who were like, there's no way we're marrying you to him, don't worry. And she said, how could you go against the Prophet He would never wish anything wrong for me. He would never want anything but my khair for me. I will accept this proposal. But why did she do it? Because she had that love for the Prophet They lived peacefully together until he was martyred. After the battle, the Prophet turned to his companions, asking each one of them if they have found anyone missing, you know, from their family, from their uh, people, from their tribe. Did you find anyone missing? Is anyone missing amongst you? And they, would, they said, so and so, and so and so. He again asked, is there anyone missing amongst you? And they said, so and so. He then again is asking them, like, you know, again, eagerly trying to, to locate someone, right, of importance to him. And now he, he reveals it. And he says, after they've repeatedly said, uh, no, there isn't anybody, he says, what? But I am missing Julebib. In other words, he's important to me. You may have found all these other people who are your family members, your people, but I'm missing someone very special to me. That his rank was what the Prophet said him. And so the companions began to search for him and they found that he had been martyred. There were seven bodies laying around him and the Prophet said him came heartbroken to see that he had been martyred, that he had killed these seven, and then one of them must have uh, finally killed him. And then he said, he is from me and I am from him, right? We are the same, in other words, we're the same. And he made sure to repeat it three, two to three times. And then, because he was so small and so frail, Judebib as, as a person, the Prophet said him picked him up by his own arms and he placed him in, in the ground, he, he dug his grave, he buried him himself. And that was you know, the story that I think that conveys really love in so many different ways, so many forms of love.